Then he has four, 19 to 14 Bobcats. Then, front court over to Sanders. Sanders back across Smiley, up on top. Coming all the way out to get it is Eric Thompson. Working it under the foul line, cut off there, left hander to the corner. To Sanders, Sanders up to the wing, behind the arc, picks up the dribble, comes back out to Smiley. Smiley on the angle right side and none. Connor in his face, inside to Strong. Strong kicks it back out, goes the angle, left side, lob over right side to none. None will fire for three, barely draws iron, rebound Clark for the Bobcats, he'll push it. Three on two, left side to Conway, layup good. Pete Conway's first two, 21-14 Bobcats. None. Takes his time back into the front court for the Terriers of St. Francis. Coming around from right to left, Smiley to Sanders. Sanders behind the arc, angle left side, skipping across the wing right side, all the way down. Smiley and a foul going to be called. And Smiley drives toward the hole, and he is whacked. Abor gets the foul, his first. 15 foul on the Bobcats. And to the foul line, Jamel Smiley. Smiley, 50% foul shooter, and he gets the first one. Cuts to all parts of the iron. His first point tonight. Came in averaging one point a game, so he obviously has his average. Six or five eleven senior from West Hempstead, and he gets the second one. So he has two. And we'll have a timeout. Timeout on the Mount Sheet Metal of Ohio Leading and Cooling Products scoreboard. 7.25 to go in the first half in Bozeman. It's the Bobcats 21. Bobcats after only scoring 14 points in the first 10 minutes have scored half that uh, many in the next uh, three minutes. Actually, two and a half minutes. So uh, they have picked it up. Bobcat ball in the backcourt. Pressure going to be applied by the Terriers. Clark double team gives it back to Lazowski. Still deep in the backcourt. Back to Clark. Clark will work it up and dribble between two blue jerseys. Almost carries it. Brown right side and downtown. Yes! Justin Brown with his first three ball of the night. 24-16 Bobcats. Angle left side, Sanders. Sanders to the top of the lane. Kicks it back to Dominguez. He'll try a long three himself and he'll nail it. Richie Dominguez. Step back a couple of strides from the arc and nailed it. 24 to 19. Bobcats. Brown in the corner has it knocked loose. Picked up underneath by Plummer. Cross to Aaron Rich to Brown. Jumper off the iron. Not good underneath. Plummer's follow shot is not good, but he is fouled. All the way down and out. He's had two of them do that on him already. And he'll go back to the foul line. The foul is on Clifford Strong. His second two free throws for Plummer as Erickson will wait to come back in for the Bobcats, and 6'4", Jason Morgan wait to come back in for St. Francis. Bobcats leading it 24 to 19, and Plummer at the foul line for two for MSU. Junior from Harlem, New York. Free throw short off the front iron. He's two for four on his free throws. Thompson will go out. As uh, Richie Dominguez is back in, Erickson in, and Clark out for the Bobcats. Plummer with free throw try number two will step up on the way and good. Plummer with five points. He has his average. 25 to 19, Bobcats, 6.40 to go in the first half. Greg Nunn and a foul going to be called on the Bobcats. That'll be on Justin Brown, his second. Sixth team foul on the Bobcats. Speed Conway going to come back in. And Justin Brown will go out for the Bobcats. Trigger man, baseline left side will be Jason Morgan. For the Terriers, lobs it in to Richie Dominguez. Back out to Nunn on top. Nunn angle left side to Morgan and gets it back out on top. Nunn slowly dribbling. Across to Sanders. Sanders a crossover move to the foul line. Shovels it over to Nunn. He'll drive down, dump it all the way across Dominguez. Three ball from the right side. Not good. Rolls the iron underneath. Aaron Rich has everybody boxed out. And he comes up with a loose ball. Gives it to Erickson and the freshman from the last kid in the front court to Conway. Sophomore from Billings to Plummer, the junior from Harlem, New York, up the right side to Conway. 
Conway across the top, picks up the dribble over the angle right side. Plummer knocked loose. Conway picks it back up. He'll drive toward the hole, dump it in the lane to Lazowski, right-handed. Runner is good. Lazowski with a little flip shot. Baby hook, 27-19. Bobcats, 5.44 to go in the first half. Nunn will walk it up for the Terriers. Gives it up to Sanders. Carl Sanders. Dumps it right in the middle of the lane. Knocked loose. Conway picks it up. Erickson has it. One on three. Right side, Lazowski puts on the brakes to Erickson. Working around the perimeter. Rich underneath Plummer. Left side post up off the glass and good. Danny Plummer. 29 to 19. Bobcats. Biggest lead by either club here in the first half. We move down to the five minute mark. None on the driven into the front court for the Terriers. Across to Sanders, deep right side to Dominguez, back up to Sanders, to Nunn, toward the lane, spins around, contact and a foul. And they'll call it on Erickson, the fans don't care much for that. Back in will be 5'11", Jamel Smiley, and he will replace the 5'9", Carl Sanders. And Nunn will go to the free throw line. Greg Nunn, a 57.9% foul shooter. To remind you a little bit, left-handed and everything in looks and size of uh, Damon Stoudemire, the Portland Trailblazers, and he puts the free throw. Kenny Plummer with the rebound for the Bobcats. Lays it for Erickson into the front court, under five minutes to go. Bobcats with a 29 to 19 lead. Plummer back door to Rich down the left side, loose it, picked up by Conway. He'll lay it up and in. Look what I found. Point number four for Conway, 31 to 19. Bobcats. None up on top. Picks up the dribble right in the middle of the lane to Strong. Griffiths around, has it blocked by Plummer, picked up by Rich. Ahead to Erickson. Spins away from trouble. Into the left front court. Ball fake up on top, Lazowski. John almost loses it, and he's called for traveling. One to pass, tried to catch it, and they call him for the turnover, and the fans don't care for that either. The official said the feet move. That's what he said. 31 to 19, Bobcats. Front court, long pass, left side, or right side, Smiley rather. Up on top to Nunn. Nunn holds. Bob Guest and man for man. Nunn will dribble all the way out near the time stripe. And the angle right side to Smiley. Smiley to Dominguez on top. To Morgan. Morgan over on the wing right side to Strong. Up on top, Dominguez. Dominguez with the dribble against Lazowski. Race and fire from 12. Barely nicked the rim, but Strong gets it. Lays it back up. Not good. Tipped around underneath. Loose again on the floor. Picked up by Morgan. He'll fire up a 15-footer and get it. Jason Morgan has five. 31-21, Bobcats. A little bit of pressure in the backcourt. Plummer will hold and give to Erickson, and he'll come one-on-one -on -one against 5'10", Greg Nunn. Erickson, 6'3", freshman. Into the front court, well on the right side. He'll come across the top. Right to left, all the way down the lane. Puts it up. It's down good, and he is fouled. Nice, strong move by the freshman. He has four. Count the hoop. Assess the foul. E.J. Little in for Lazowski for the Bobcats. And Erickson will go to the foul line for MSU. And the free throw is good by Erickson. He has five and we'll have a timeout. Timeout on the Mount Sheet Metal of Ohio Heating and Cooling Products scoreboard. 3.33 to go in the first half in Bolson. Bobcats of Montana State, 33-2%. Terriers, 2 for 12 on the threes. The Bobcats, 1 out of 3, rebounding. 15 and 14 uh, in favor of the Terriers. Turnover, 7 for St. Francis, 2 for the Bobcats. And the ball, the ball one syllable of ball, the ball belongs to the Terriers. None lob past the corner. Right front court to Dominguez. Goes for the paint. Has a knock loose. A foul will be called. And that will be on the Bobcats, and that will be on Aaron Ritz on the reach in his first. And the Terriers to the foul line. And I believe it's Richie Dominguez going to do the honors. Dominguez, who's averaging 18.7 uh, points a ball game, is a 62.5% foul shooter. He has six points, one out of two from the foul line, and he gets this one. 19th all-time uh, leading scorer in St. Francis history. 34 to 22, Bob Getz. Dominguez with the second one, and this one is also good. 
So he's made three in a row after missing his first one, 34-23 Bobcats. To the press in the backcourt, Erickson to E.J. Little. E.J. cut off, gives it back to Erickson, still in the backcourt. He'll hustle into the front court, get it all the way down. But on the breaks to E.J. Little, top of the lane. Gives it up to Conway, comes out left side, top of the lane, across to Rich. Inside, Kenny Plummer makes the catch, picks it up, goes to the hole, lays it off the glass, scores. Count the hoop. Count the hoop, and a foul going to be called, I think, on Plummer after the hoop. That is it. So Plummer gets the hoop, and he gets the foul. 36-23 Bobcats, and Danny Faborg will hustle back in for MSU. And uh, James Clark will also come in. And going out will be Aaron Rich and uh, Jason Erickson for the Bobcats. And the foul line, Richie Dominguez. Made three in a row. This one on the way, and good. Four in a row. He has nine points, 36-24 Bobcats. Dominguez with the next one on the way, and also good. So he's in double figures with 10. 36-25 Bobcats. Again, pressure in the backcourt. Little back to Clark, and James will try to beat the double team, and he does into the front court. Lobs it back to Little, tracks it down. Left side, Fabort, three ball on the way. No, short off the iron, long off the iron, rather, to Dominguez, to none. Breakaway the other way, good hustle. Knocked out of bounds, knocked away by a diving Danny Fabor. Got all the way back after missing the three ball and saved an easy bucket. Jason Morgan will inbound it. Gets it into Dominguez, up on top to Nunn. 2.35 to go in the first half. Nunn holds and gives it up to Morgan. Morgan to Dominguez coming out on top to get it to Nunn on the wing right side. Back on top, Dominguez. Ball fake left, tries to drive behind the back dribble. The foul line cut off. Gives to Howard, who hasn't seen a lot of action in the first half. He's the leading scorer. His shot is blocked. Big time. Eat a little leather, and the Bobcats will have it coming the other way. Clark, angle left side of Conway. Looks inside, won't go there to Fabrook on top. Wing right side to E.J. Little, looking inside. He'll dribble toward the paint, stop. Fade and fire from 12 off the iron, not good. All the way down and out, Dominguez with the rebound. And he'll kick it to none. Back to Dominguez up on top, down inside Strong, and a foul, I believe, going to be called on Plummer. As uh, Strong tried to post him up right in the middle of the paint, and that is the call. Kenny Plummer gets his second foul. And with a minute 53 to go in the half, Strong will go to the free throw line, six points. Playing in only his second game. As Wazowski waits to check back in for the Bobcats, and Strong's free throw is off the front iron, not good. Has six points, and Plummer will come out for the Bobcats. Clifford Strong until that one had made seven out of seven from the foul line. And Patrice Stevenson is waiting to come in for him, I believe. And Strong will wait pull the trigger on the second one and miss this one also rebound to Lazowski for the Bobcats he'll give it to Clark into the front court a minute 45 to go all the way down in the lane shovel to DJ Little lays it up and in assist Clark Hoop Little 38-25 Bobcats with 139 to go in the half up on top Dominguez spins away in the lane loose scramble for Lazowski ties him up alternate possession I believe the Bobcats get it that's the arrow that's the way you're heading west young man to the long to the Bobcats. 6'6", Patrice Stevenson oh, will check back in. And 6'7", Clifford Strong will sit down for the Terriers. With a minute 32 to go, the Bobcats have the lead and the ball. Pressure in the backcourt again from the Terriers as uh, E.J. Little, wait a minute, what do we got? Away from the ball, we have a foul. And is that on the Bobcats? I believe it is. A push on James Clark. Trying to get room to get to the ball, and he pushed Jamel Smiley, and Smiley, who's two for two from the foul line, will step up. Take a little bit of time. Aim and fire, and clang it off the back iron. Not good. Six 
Seven out of 12 for the Terriers right now and make it seven out of 13. And the miss picked up by Little for the Bobcats and he is fouled. So EJ Little will go to the free throw line for MSU at the other end. So EJ Little to the free throw line for MSU. Morgan got the foul, his second. EJ Little will step up for the Cats, four out of eight from the foul line, and he gets this one. EJ with three points. And Howard will come back in, and Reyes, who had the three quick fouls early on, will come back in. EJ Little, 6'6 junior from Vallejo, California. Bobcats only had 14 in the first 10 minutes. In the next eight and a half minutes, they have scored 25. So almost double loop. And Little's next free throw is all around it in. Four points for EJ. 40 to 25, Bobcats, 125 to go in the half. Then, front court out on the left side, bounce pass on top, Dominguez. Bobcats go back to the 23 zone. None will hold, hold, take a look. Give it back, Dominguez. Dominguez for the foul line, back over to Nunn on the wing left side, back on top, Dominguez, wing right side to Morgan, Morgan with Fayborg in his face, to Dominguez who dribbles over, goes to the paint, dumps it back in the corner, and Morgan will fire away for a three and nail it. Jason Morgan has eight points, and we're going to have a timeout called by the Terriers. Timeout, 58 seconds to go in the first half on the Mount Sheet Metal on the foul leading into the nation, 522 West Asquith. When you're in a crunch call, Time back in, Bobcats leading at 40 to 28. E.J. Little inbound in the backcourt, runs the baseline, gets it into Clark. Clark taking looks if he'll be double teamed. Shovels a bounce pass to E.J. Little in the front court, right side. Back up to Clark. Clark in the right front court. Not close to the time stripe. Starts the attack. Wazowski standing at the top of the lane. Clark comes, kicks it angle left side to Conway. Feet looking inside, lobs to Lazowski. Down on the left side, will pivot around, take a look. Kick it back to Conway toward the paint. Dumps it back, Lazowski. 17-footer left side, no. Rebound, foul. And that will be on the Bobcats, I believe, or not. Nope. nope, the foul is on the Terriers. And I believe that's Jason Morgan. And Danny Fayborg will go to the foul line for MSU. Three out of four on the season. And that is the foul on Morgan, his third. So he and Reyes each have three for the uh, Terriers. Fayborg's free throw is off the iron end. His first point tonight came in averaging 3.2. Howard back in and Reyes back in. And going out will be Jamel Smiley and Patrice Thiveneau. 41-28 Bobcats, 29 seconds to go in the half, and Fayborg's next free throw is also good. 42-28 Bobcats, 25 seconds, none into the front court. Picks up the dribble, skips it across to Dominguez, up on top to Reyes, the big guy gives it back out to none, 18 seconds. Bobcats stay with the zone, none directing traffic as he dribbles. Down the left front court, Dominguez, wing left side, Howard, down the corner. Pass skipped across to Nunn, up on top, Dominguez to the paint, down in underneath, collision, and a blocking foul. Going to be called on Lazowski as he was run over, big time. And he is called for the block. His second, and with 4.6 seconds to go in the half, a gift to the Terriers. Merry Christmas a little late to Richie Dominguez. Five out of six to the foul line, the last five in a row. He will step up for two. First one is on the way and good. And coming back in will be Patrice Stevenau and Jamel Smiley. And Aaron Ritz will come in for E.J. Little for the Bobcats. 42-29 Montana State. First game tonight, Radford beat Portland 80-74. Dominguez next free throw on the way, and also good. 4.6, and Aaron Ritz will look for the baseball pass, and it is knocked loose, scrambled for, and the clock has never started. The clock never started. We should have had the half over by now, and the clock never started. Nothing better than running the clock and watching the game. 
A lot of people would do both. And that's it. The official figured it out himself. That is the half. Okay. We agree. That'll do it for the first half of action on the Mount Sheet Metal Oval Pile Leading and Cooling Product Scoreboard. It's the Bobcats of Montana State, 42 and here, 511 James Clark, 68 John Lasowski, 64 Justin Brown, and 66 Aaron Rich. And the ball belongs to the Bobcats. And it's just about showtime for another 20 minutes of Bobcat basketball. And here we go as John Lasowski will be the trigger man in midcourt on the backcourt to Clark and we'll underway. Picked up by Nunn, man for man for the Terriers. Clark shovels it, wing left side to Rich in front of the cat bench on top of Lasowski. One dribble, back door to Brown, down the right side, off the glass and good. Justin Brown has five, assist Lasowski, 44 to 30 Bobcats. Nunn into the front court for the Terriers. Gives it up to Morgan. Morgan out on top. Bobcats go back to the 2-3 zone. Howard, who's had a tough time even getting a shot, let alone getting a point. None left side, fakes the shot. Cross court for Morgan. Down the corner, right side, and fired up, but not good. Tipped around underneath. Belongs to Brown of the Bobcats. Shot was put up by Strong. Clark will push it all the way up, right down the paint. Stops left side, Rich fakes. Kicks it back to Clark behind the arc. He'll hold for a minute. Start the offense, angle left side, and a foul away from the ball. And that's on the Bobcats. It's on uh, Justin Brown. And I miss you, his third. First team foul of the half on the Bobcats. 44 to 30, Montana State. One minute into the second half. Nunn, 5'10", senior from Inwood, New York. Right in front of his own bench on the wing right side. Bounce pass on top to Howard. Goes into the paint, scoops it up. It is batted away by Sturmlinger, and Clark gets the reject. Comes all the way down for the layup off the glass, and not good. Rebound up by Lazowski, not good, and a foul going to be called. How does that happen? On the follow by John Lazowski, he is called for an over-the-back foul, his third, so he and Justin Brown each have three. Ball back to the Terriers. Into the front court. None up on top. Over the wing right side. Bounce pass up on top to Morgan. Morgan to Howard comes to get it. Comes down the left side. Fades away and fires. Misses it off the iron. Rebound Sturmling. A long outlet ahead. Tipped away. Picked up by Brown. Back. Aaron Rich. John City. Aaron Rich with the slam. Has seven. 46 to 30, Bobcats. Ball loose back in the front court, controlled finally by the Terriers. Cross left side to Morgan, drives the baseline, dumps it in the middle to Strong, lays it up and gets it. Clifford Strong has eight. 46-32, Bobcats. Clark will walk it across the time stripe for MSU, man for man for the Terriers. Gets a pick from Sturmlinger, moves to the left. Brown, three ball, left side, all the way down and out, rebound Sturmlinger, all the way back to Brown and out to Clark, reset the offense. Nunn comes out to pick him up, angle left side to Rich, loses Morgan, and he is fouled from behind. Morgan let Rich get by him and then reached in and thought it was trying to pick up foul number four, so he's working on uh, not a lot of minutes left, and he will go out for the Terriers. Erickson in, Clark out for the Bobcats. And Conway will come in for the Bobcats, and Justin Brown will go out. Ray is back in for the Terriers, and Lazowski, the inbounder, looks for some help, lobs it into Rich, way out on the wing left side. Up the left side, Lazowski out on top to Conway. Conway picked up by Howard. Feet down the wing right side to Erickson, looking inside, and we've got a collision. I think Ray has picked up another one. He did. Ebert Reyes picked up his fourth foul. He is uh, second all-time in career blocks for the Terriers, and he must be moving up the list in all-time personal fouls. Erickson to toss it in. Ball fake right. Lobs it way back out to Zaski. John gives it up to Rich. Aaron picked up by Dominguez. To the wing left side of the corner, Erickson fires away. Three ball, down and out, rebound, Rich, yes! Aaron Rich on the follow. He has nine. 48-32, Bobcats. In the lane, Strong, double team, kicks it left side on the wing, Dominguez drives the baseline, steps on the stripe, gets away with it to Strong inside, he gets the hoop and he's fouled. Well, they missed it, Dominguez. 
Then he was stepping out of bounds. Rich gets the foul. Strong gets the hoop, and he'll go to the foul line. 48-34, Bobcats. And Strong to the foul line. He is 0 for 2 tonight. Has 10 points. Free throw on the way, and hard off the back iron. Rebound to Lazowski for the Bobcats. Erickson, Erickson dribbling away from the double team, head to Lazowski into the front court, all the way down, going for the hole, here he goes, lays it up, got it, John Lazowski, he has four, 50 to 34, Bobcats, Nunn quickly back in the front court, leaves it for Reyes, top of the lane, angle right side to Nunn, Nunn, inside strong, comes down against Terminger, sandwiched in, kicks it back out, straight ahead, long bomb is not good by Dominguez, rebound to Rich for the Bobcats, He'll push it up two on two. Leaves it for Lazowski. Three ball airborne. Yes! Yeah, Lazowski has seven. 53-34 Bobcats. None. Walk it up. High post to Reyes. Lobs it in the low hole. Strong is there. Lays it up and misses it. Rebound Lazowski for the Bobcats. Now left to Erickson. He'll bring it up himself into the front court. Angle left side to Rich. Looks inside. To put on the brakes. Needs some help, needs some help. Bounce pass up on top of Lazowski. Conway is pushed over by Strong. Strong will get his third foul, third team foul of the half on the Terriers who look rather sluggish. E.J. Little will come in for the Bobcats. John Lazowski will take a quick breather. He has seven. Had him an MVP a year ago. E.J. Little to inbound it right front court to Erickson up on top. Starts to dribble, gets a pick from Sturmlinger, moving across the top, and what are we going to have? A moving pick by Sturmlinger. And that'll be his third personal foul, as the officials want to use the ball up tonight. And we'll have a timeout. Timeout on the Mount Sheet Metal Home of Hyde, leading and cooling product scoreboard. 15-58 to go in the second half. Montana State, 53. St. Francis of New York, 34. Back in a minute, here's 32%. Bob gets it now and rebound of the Terriers 26 to 17. That was tied at 17 all. Terriers with eight turnovers. Bob gets uh, led in rebounding by Rich with uh, seven. Bob gets trying to put a little spurt on them. As they are on an 11 to 4 run to open the second half, Terriers with the ball. Greg Nunn will picked up, be picked up by Erickson. Angle left side to Strong. Up on top to Reyes. Kenny Plummer in picks him up to Strong. Corner left side to Nunn. Nunn gives it up to Howard. Howard uses the pick, fires up the jumper, and gets the three. His first hoop of the night. And Bobcat's lead is reduced to 53 to 37. Full court pressure. Little gets it into Erickson. Double team. He'll beat it on the dribble. Bounces D.J. Little into the front court all the way down. Shovels right side. Conway, three ball all the way down and out. Not good. Rebound to Richie Dominguez. His pass is knocked away by Aaron Rich. It'll still belong to the Terriers. Richie Dominguez will inbound it at midcourt. Bob Kess with a 53-37 lead. They led by a dozen at halftime. Nine on the dribble out on top. On the angle left side to Reyes. Kenny Plummer on him. Out to Dominguez. Well, on the angle right side to Howard. He wants to shoot badly. Gets it down inside strong. Pivots around, lays it up, and gets it. 53-39. Full court pressure, Little. Baseballs it into the front court to Rich. He's got a three on one. Goes all the way down himself. Has a knock loose. Gets it back. Bounces underneath Plummer. Lays it up and in. Jenny Plummer has 11, 55, 39, Bobcats. None up on top, hesitation move on the dribble to Howard, behind the arc, has Rich on him. Down right side to none, drives, jumps it inside strong, puts the hoop up, it goes, and a foul is gonna be called. That's the old NBA continuation special there. So Strong will be back at the foul line. Fifty-five, forty-one, MSU. The 
defensive foul was on Jason Erickson, his second. For the book work here, 55, 41. Strong at the foul line. He has 14 points. 6'7", the youngster out of Brooklyn, and the free throw is hard off the front iron, not good, and Plummer has the rebound for the Bobcat. Strong is 0 for 4 from the foul line. Full court pressure, long pass to Plummer. Left side to Rich, fakes the shot, gives the right side to Erickson. Three ball launched. Three ball not good underneath, rebound. Controlled by the Terriers, and Dominguez will bring it back up. The angle left side cut off on the dribble. Out to Reyes, Plummer on him, angle left side to Dominguez. Back up on top to Nunn. Nunn holds, lobs it down inside. The Dominguez turns around, shoots the baseline left side. Not good. Rebound to Conway for the Bobcats. He'll push him up on a three on two. Left side to Rich, back to Pete. 15 footer. Good. Conway with six. 57 41. Bobcats. Nunn back into the front court for the Terriers. Cross angle left side to Dominguez. Conway in his face. Set the offense to Howard, left side. He'll walk to walk the three, comes down with it. Had E.J. Little in his face, went up, came back down, turnover to the Bobcats. Fayborg will come in for MSU, replacing Aaron Rich. And John Lazowski will come back in for the Bobcats. He'll replace E.J. Little. And Lazowski will inbound it. To Erickson in the backcourt. Full court pressure, Erickson, long pass, right side, Conway, three ball, airborne, no, off the iron, not good, tip up, not good, tipped again, and controlled by Howard for the Terriers, ahead to Nunn. Nunn, crossover move down the lane, lays it up and in. Nice move by Greg Nunn, his first two for the night. Pressure again in the backcourt, Erickson to Lazowski, 57-43, Bobcats, 13-10 to go. Lazowski, three ball, on the way, not good. He goes down, rebound to Reyes. And he'll get it ahead to Nunn. Nunn, angle left side, crossover, and he's called for palming the ball, and a turnover gives it to the Bobcats. Back in, the three Stevenno. And for the Bobcats, James Clark and Justin Brown. Erickson will go out. Conway out. Sterling is back for the Bobcats. Plummer out. Also back, five back, Carl Sanders for St. Francis. Tomorrow night, Portland U is in the consolation game. Radford is moved to the title game. Winner of this will play Radford. The loser will play Portland. Clark out on top. Wing left side, Lazowski back up the angle. Brown, three ball. Yes, downtown. Justin Brown. He has eight. 60 to 43, Bobcats. Dunn takes his time into the front court for the Terriers. Clark providing the pressure, lobs it underneath. Dominguez tries for the alley-oop, loose it off him, out of bounds, Bobcat ball. And Lazowski will be the trigger man in the backcourt for the Bobcats. Again, full court pressure. Gets it into Clark. Up the left sideline to Faborg, across to Brown. Tracks it down in the corner, going out of bounds, lobs it back out. Lazowski has it. Down the hole, left side, Faborg, three ball from the corner. Got it! Danny Faborg, he has five. 63-43, Bobcats. None taking his time on the attack. And we'll have a timeout called by the Terriers. Timeout on the Mount Street Metal on the pile. Leading and cooling product scoreboard. 12 4 to go in the ballgame. Montana State 63, St. Francis of New York 43. Back in a minute on the State Farm Sports Network. Happy holidays from Bozeman Ford. Where we've got the best year-end specials now through December 31st. One dollar over... Here's 21 to 13. And in the first 10 minutes of the ball game, the Rockets only had 14. So you can see that they have uh, started to find their groove. Kozowski, Brown, Clark, Faborg, and Sturmlinger for the Bobcats. Reyes, Dominguez, Howard, Strong, Nunn for St. Francis. Richie Dominguez will inbound it. In the left front court up near the time strap to Nunn. We're back in action as the clock will tick under 12 minutes. Bobcats back to the zone. Strong in the corner left side, up on the angle, Dominguez. Back to Nunn on top. 
to Dominguez, left side. Men on top, high pull, strong, right side on the wing, way off to Howard, down the corner, right side to Strong, double feet inside Reyes, and the reach in foul on the Bobcats. And that'll be on Lazowski, his fourth. Sixth team foul on MSU. And we'll have another timeout. Timeout on the Mountain Sheet Metal, home of Ohio Leading and Cooling Products scoreboard, 11.44 to go. Bobcats of Montana State, 63. The Terriers of St. Francis of New York, 43. Back in the middle on the State Farm. Time back in, Bobcats with a 20-point lead. Let's pause five seconds for state identification. Bobcat basketball on the State Farm Sports Network. The radio home of the Montana State University Bobcats, AM 1090, KBOZ Bozeman, and KOBBFM Bozeman. Ball along to the Terriers, none. Howard will force a three from the right side and nail it. He has two three-pointers for his six points. 63-46 Bobcats. Long pass front court, Fayborg. Out on the left side on the wing, D.J. Little. Top of the lane, Brown spins around, cut off on the dribble, off to Clark. He'll set up the offense. Man for man defense for the Terriers. Fayborg on the angle right side on the wing with strong on him. Puts it on the floor, gets a pick from Sturmlinger. Cut off, angle left side, Clark goes right to the paint. 12 foot straight here, jumper's good. James Clark has four, 65-46 Bobcats. None. Controlling as per usual, 5'10", senior point guard. Picks up the dribble, angle left side, Dominguez down the corner, left side to Strong, double team. Way back out to none, right side, Howard will try another three. He'll get this one again. Well, he has finally found his stroke, three three-pointers all in the second half. He has nine, and on the press, Terrier steal it, Dominguez, Howard, down underneath, Strong, spins away, has a knock loose by Fayborg, who fouls him. Second foul on Fayborg. So Howard, who was 0 for 2 in the first half, is 3 for 3 on his three balls here in the second half. And the foul line... It'll be Mr. Brick, Clifford Strong, 0 for 4 from the free throw line. 65-49, Bobcats with the lead. They have led by up to 20 here in the second half. Clifford Strong, 6'7", 200-pound junior from Brooklyn. Free throw is up, and not good. He has a streak going. Erickson in for Clark for the Bobcats. Bobcats with 23 points in the first nine and a half minutes of the second half. Fayborg out and Rich back in for the Bobcats. All 10 Cats uh, see in action here tonight. And all 10 scored in the first half. Strong's next free throw is up and air ball. Air ball. Known as the high altitude ball. Not enough oxygen. And now what do we have? A foul as the Bobcats are trying to inbound it. And a holding foul will be on Greg Nunn, his second fourth team foul on the Terriers. Full court pressure, Bobcats break out of the stack in the backcourt, inbound to Erickson, back to E.J. Little. E.J. The dribbling in the front court himself, picked up by Strong. Nice ball handling by the 6'6 youngster from Vallejo, California, to Brown. And he is jockeyed all the way by Howard, and Howard will get his second foul. Five team fouls on the Terriers. Bobcat ball in the left front court. Front of Bobcat coach Mick Durham. Standing up and calling out the play. Little looking for somebody to inbound it. Gets it into Aaron Rich. Picked up by Dominguez. Will turn around and score up against him. To Erickson out there at the time strike. With none on him tight. Erickson on the dribble. Spins away. Goes toward the paint. Dumps it inside and loses it. And the official. Another time for a second. Give the ball to the Terriers at midcourt. Bobcats leading at 65-49. Midway through the second half at the 10-minute mark here. None on the dribble. Picked up by Erickson. Bobs it inside and Sturmlinger steals it. To Erickson and his baseball pass ahead is uh, stolen by Dominguez. And Rich comes behind and steals it back. And one official looks at it, calls nothing, and the other official foul away from the play calls a foul on Rich. Okay. Well, some circus might be three clowns short tonight. And Richie Dominguez will go to the foul line. 
for St. Francis. Dominguez, 12 points in the first half. Seven out of eight from the foul line. Has not scored in the second half. He gets this one. Eight out of nine from the free throw line for Richie Dominguez. 65 to 50. Bobcats lead, cut to 15. Dominguez next free throw is up and rolls the arm. Not good tip underneath and controlled by Strong. Back to Dominguez, left corner. Howard will launch another three. In and out, won't get this one. Tip underneath. Reyes has it, lays it up and in. So Reyes gets his first two. Full court pressure again, 65-52. Bob gets lead of 20, cut down to 13. E.J. a little all the way down, lays it up, not good, and the foul is called. E.J. driving all the way toward the hole, draws the foul, and it'll be two shots. Foul is on Clifford Strong, his fourth. He has four, Reyes has four. Jason Morgan has four, and E.J. Little at the foul line has four points. And he'll have two free throws. First one's good. E.J. with five points. And Strong will go out, and coming back in is 6'8", 210, Eric Thompson. Little on the line for number two. On the way, not good. Rebound underneath. Belongs to Richie Dominguez. In the front court, down underneath Howard. Fades away in the lane, shoots and scores. So Howard with 11, all in the second half. E.J. Little, inbound to Kyle Sturmlinger. Ahead to Aaron Rich. Here comes the breakaway. It's show time. He is grabbed by Dominguez. A two-shot foul. As Dominguez just grabbed him, Aaron Rich was going to go for a little bit jam city. And he will get two free throws, and the Bobcats will get the ball back, and Mr. Dominguez will get his second foul. Intentional foul called on the Terriers. So Aaron Rich to the foul line for the Bobcats. Has nine points. Misses the free throw. Rich stays in and out. Brown out, Conway in, Plummer in, Sterlinger out for the Bobcats. Aaron Rich for the second free throw. And he misses this one. And the Bobcats get the ball. Bobcats in the second half, one out of four from the foul line right now. Jason Erickson inbound it. Thompson looks to the right, throws the left to Conway, back up the right side to Rich, three ball, got it! Can't make the three throws, baby, I'll just take it from downtown. 69, 54, Bobcats with nine minutes to go. Crossover move by Nunn, cut off, gives to Howard, to Dominguez, left corner to Thompson. Thompson pinned in, lobs it way back out, Conway steals it, has Erickson, throws it behind him. Aaron Rich picks it up, he's double teamed immediately. Looks for some help, has it knocked away, loose, and stolen by the Terriers. To none, none. Spinning move into the paint, leans up, throws it up, knocked down to the foul line. And that one will be on Jason Erickson, his third. Nine team fouls on Montana State. And to the foul line, Greg Nunn. Two points, 0 for 1 for the free throw line. Bobcats at almost 56% from the field after a very, very slow start. Nunn's free throw is an iron banger. Doesn't get it. Little out, Lazowski in. Clark back, Erickson out for the Bobcats. Nunn's next free throw is perfect. He has three all in the second half. Inbound to Clark. Double team gives it to Lazowski. Still in the backcourt. To Clark. To get by the double team all the way down to Rich. Down underneath in the lane for the layup. To Plummer, not good. Tip up follow is good. Sidney Plummer has 13. 71-55. Bobcats. None. Front court, Dominguez. To the top of the lane, 
On the left side to Howard. Mazowski in his face. Dribbles toward the foul line. Kicks it back to the back. Gets behind the back. And we are going to have a foul on the Bobcats. It'll be a hand check by Clark. His second. So over the foul line. Richie Dominguez. 13 points. Fifty-five. Bobcats. Dominguez free throw is good. In an averaging twenty point four, he has fourteen. And going out is six eight Eric Thompson. And back in is six seven Clifford Strong. Seventy one fifty six Bobcats. Dominguez with the next one on the way and also good. Dominguez a busy man from the foul line tonight. Eleven times there. 12 times there and make it. He's hit 10 of them. 71-57, Bobcats. Clark hustles into the front court. Pressure to Lazowski, wing left side. Up on top, Clark. Conway. Conway down the wing right side. Looks inside. Wants to go to Plummer and does. Plummer with Reyes behind him. Holds it. Dribbles. Goes to the paint. Has it taken away by Howard. And Howard will have a two-on-one with Dominguez against Conway. Lays it up. Misses it. Dominguez follows for the hoop. 71-59, that was the margin at halftime. 7.28 to go. Bobcats have been up by 20 in the second half. Right side on the wing, Lazowski behind the arc, up on top to Clark. And for man has none on him. Back door pass to Rich down the left side, up and in, Aaron Rich. He has 14, 73-59, Bobcats. All the way down the other way, Howard underneath, lays it up, misses it, he's fouled. Lazowski gets the foul, and he is fouled out with seven points and 7.06 to go. So last year's MVP will leave this one early. He commits foul number five, and Stephen Howard, with 11 points all in the second half, will step to the foul line. Coach Mick Durham will send E.J. Little in for Lazowski. So the Bobcats will have Plummer, Little, Rich, Conway, Clark. And Howard on the foul line for two. Three throws up and good. He has 12. Zero in the first half, 12 here in the second half. Waiting for the next one. On the way and good again. And we will have a timeout. Timeout on the Mount Cheap Metal on the pile. Leading and cooling product scoreboard. 7.06 to go in the ballgame. Bobcats 73. The Terriers of St. Francis 61. Back in a minute on the State Farm Sports Network. The party is on at your local Montana Ford dealer with Montana Ford dealers year-end leadership drive. Take advantage of $1,500. At half, 42 to 30. Bobcats at 56%, the Terriers up to 43%. And the rebounding, the Bobcats still lead in that category, 30 to 25. Aaron Rich with uh, seven for the Bobcats. Bobcats ball in the backcourt, full court pressure. And Clark will take a look, will be double teamed. Dribble in for the double team and be fouled. And all the balls kicked, excuse me. Bob Guess to get a fresh 35 on the shot clock and get the ball back in the backcourt and Little. Little got it to Kenny Plummer. Plummer will give to Clark. Clark will take a look and come ahead, give it cross court to Little into the front court left side. And a foul away from the ball, and I believe that is on the Terriers. It is. And that will be on Greg Nunn, and that's his third. 18 fouls on the Terriers. And Technical foul, apparently, because Pete Conway is going to the line all by his lonesome. Foul is up and good. Conway with seven. 74 to 60. And the next one is not good. And in the background, you hear Coach Ron Ganulin saying to the official, I'd like to know what he said. I don't know why you'd want to hear it again, Coach. Official didn't like it the first time, obviously. Why would you repeat it? 74-60, Cats, the Cats with the ball. 
A good run. You have to spend another day here. 74-60, Bobcats, Bobcats ball. Little into Clark. Clark up on top, checked by Greg Nunn. One on one. Left side to Rich, coming around across the top. From left to right, stop straight ahead, takes a shot inside the plumber and the paint spins around and calls for traveling. 6.36 to go, the Bobcats leading at 74-60. Sturmlinger will come back in for Plummer. Brown will come back in for the Bobcats for Pete Conway. Ball belongs to the Terriers. They're trying to save a little clock now. Reyes rolls it in the backcourt to Nunn. Clark goes to cut him off for the Bobcats. Nunn, front court. Bounce pass up on top to Strong. Strong over the angle left side to Mingus. Dominguez down underneath to Reyes. Goes underneath it. His shot is blocked, but he's fouled. Stillinger got the shot, but uh, he was fouled by Little before that. So EJ gets his first foul. And we will send Hebert Reyes to the foul line where he is a 50% free throw shooter. 6'11", 250 senior from San Antonio, Venezuela. And the junior national team down there gets the free throw. He has three points all in the second half. He came in averaging nine points and eight and a half rebounds and a couple of blocked shots. 74-61, Bob Getz. Reyes next one is up. And not good, and the rebound is to Justin Brown of the Bobcats. They'll give it to Little. To Clark into the front court, pushing it up all the way down, spins it back out to Little. Little backdoor pass, Brown left hand layup. Good! Nice pass, nice hoop. 10 for Justin Brown, 76 61 Bobcats. Dominguez up on top on the dribble. Brown in his face, cross angle left side to none. Down deep left side, hot underneath. Reyes lays it up, misses the bunny. Rebound Sturmlinger for the Bobcats to Clark. James long pass front court, E.J. Little. Hesitation behind the back dribble, comes back out. All the way on top, Sturmlinger. Angle left side to Justin Brown. Up on top to Rich. Lobs to Little, thought he was cutting to the back door and threw it right to the cheer squad. The dance, ladies. 5.38 to go. Bob Gibbs lead it 76-61. Turnover gives it to St. Francis. The guys from Brooklyn, New York. Greg Nunn controlling on the dribble. Up on top to Reyes. Over to Strong. Left side on the wing. Dominguez. One-on-one -on -one against Rich. Go baseline. Bump. Foul on Rich. And Aaron Ritz will get his fourth foul. So the free throw are fine. Continues for the Terriers. 13 tries here in the second half. Dominguez has been the busiest of anybody. They fire this baby up and miss it. They've made five out of 14 in the second half. Rich out, Payborg in for the Bobcats. On the night, 15 out of 29 on the foul shots for the Terriers. And the next one is short again. Rebound tipped around underneath. And what do we have? An over the back, I believe, on somebody. Who's this going to be against? Danny Faborg, I believe. Well, a lot of folks came to see basketball, but three guys in striped shirts thought they came to hear the whistles. Howard at the foul line. Take his time, fire it up, and get it. Stephen Howard with 13 points all in the second half. 76-62, Bobcats. Howard with an extra on the way, and also good. 76-63, Bobcats. Full court pressure again. As Clark will work against none on the dribble. Long pass front court to Little. He'll hold it up in the right front court up on top to Clark. Moved down to the five-minute mark. Bobcats with the lead of 76-63. Angle left side to Fayborg. Gets a pick from Sturmlinger. Goes the other way. Back up to Sturmlinger. Cross right side behind the arc to Clark. Toward the paint. Bounce past the Little. He'll go into the paint. Lose it. And it's loose on the floor. Still scrambled for. Who has it? I believe Fayborg's going to get it. He is for the Bobcats. To Clark. 
Under five minutes to go. Clark come back up on top to Sturmlinger. He'll just hold it, give back out to Clark. Bobcats try to chew up a little clocky possession now. It's a little way out on the wing left side. Ball take that up on top, Tabor. Straight ahead, top of the lane, angle left side to Brown. To put it on the floor, bounce it inside Sterlinger. Rolls left side, fake, shoots, won't go. He's fouled, and Reyes, I think, has bought himself the rest of the night on the pines. And he will foul out with three points remaining, or three points and 4.27 remaining. So one player for each side has fouled out. I believe they gave that to Reyes, and I have him for five, but he's still in there, and they have him for four. Sterlinger misses the free throw. Seventy-six, sixty-three, Bobcats, and certainly will get this one. He has seven. Erickson in and Clark out for the Bobcats. Seventy-seven, sixty-three, Montana State. St. Francis has given up an average of eighty-three a game, and so the Bobcats are hitting there. Now Sanders in, and he'll control into the front court to Dominguez. Dominguez back to Sanders. Left side corner strong underneath Reyes, and he'll kick it back out and work it around, and Howard will force a three from the right side to be short. Rebound loose, and Little has it for the Bobcats. They head to Erickson, and he'll take his time into the front court. On the dribble, way out on top. Spins around, back to a pass, Fabor down underneath, puts it up, misses the shot. It's out of bounds, goes to Bobcats. Reyes was standing out of bounds, jumped back in to get the ball, cannot do that. Although it was a nice move, we'll have a timeout. Timeout on round sheet metal of high leading and cooling products for over 359 to go in the ball game. Bobcat 77, St. Francis 63. Back in a minute on the State Farm Sports Network. Some people you can call a fifth in the ball game. The Bobcats have 16 assists and six steals. It'll be the Bobcats ball. Jason Erickson, the trigger man, baseline right side. Bobcats holding on to get to their seventh consecutive title game in their classic. Fayborg, right side, 17-footer, not good air ball. Rebound strong for the Terriers. you leave it for Sanders into the front court. Cross to Richie Dominguez, Fayborg in his face. Take a dribble, shovel it over to Sanders. Wing right side, back out on top, Dominguez. Dominguez, double team, left corner strong. Strong is called for traveling. So with 3.37 to go, the Bobcats with a 14-point lead will get the ball back and try to chew up some of the clock as some of the fans make for the exits. As in New York, it's tomorrow, 10.23 here in Bozeman. Erickson at the inbound pass. The may have kept the Terriers up past their bedtime. Erickson in the front court to Little. Over on the right side to Brown from downtown. Got it! Whoops, they said his foot was on the line. Give him just a deuce. He has 12. 79-63, Bobcats. And Sanders will bring it into the front court. We move down near the three-minute mark. Dominguez back to Sanders. Sanders back to Dominguez. Angle left side to Howard. Inside Reyes. Low hole left side. Back up Dominguez to the foul line. To Howard, low pass. Picks it up, starts the dribble. Wants to come down. Left side, cut off. And his pass deflected by Little, stolen by Brown. To Erickson for the Bobcats. St. Francis is tired. Boys, I think the tank is just about empty. The guys don't have much gas. To Little, angle right side up on top. Fayborg wing left side. Brown looking inside. Puts it on the floor against Howard. Lobs it underneath. Semlinger almost catches it a little too long. Deflected, picked up by Dominguez. Coming the other way on the dribble. 2.34 to go all the way down into Fayborg. And what are they going to call? A block on Fayborg. the fourth foul on Fayborg. And the foul line, Richie Dominguez. A busy guy tonight. Six uh, free throw attempts in the second half. Eight in the first half. Fourteen on the night. This one is good by Dominguez. He has 18 points, averaging 20.4, 79-64, Bobcats. Next free throw on the way, and not good. Rebound Sturmlinger for the Bobcats. Now left to E.J. Little, and E.J. will bring it into the front court himself. Out on top, 
Uh, over to Brown on the angle right side. And we've got pushing and shoving away from the ball. A foul will be on the Terriers. And that, I believe, is on Carl Sanders, his second. And so, Jason Erickson will go to the free throw line for the Cats. Five points all in the first half. 79-64, Montana State. Bob Kessler can get into their seventh consecutive championship game in their tournament. And they've only lost one time, and that goes to Malik Rose and the gang from Drexel. Erickson makes the free throw, 80 to 64, Bob gets, and give him 81 if he gets this one also. And Pete Conway will come in for Justin Brown for MSU. 81-64, Bob gets. And Sanders will pick it up in the backcourt. 2.15 to go to Dominguez all the way down. Howard, long three from the right side. Good. And quickly, the Terriers will call a timeout. We'll take one, two. 2.09 to go in the ball game on a mount sheet metal mobile pile leading in cooling product scoreboard. Montana State 81. Over factory dealer invoice, plus $1,500. Customer cash on 2,000 F-150s, Rangers, and Taurus. And $500 to $2,000 on Super Duty trucks. And to top off the holiday spirit, we're offering round-trip vacation tickets for two on Delta Airlines for the purchase of select vehicles. It's all in the year-end clearance specials at Bozeman Ford Lincoln Mercury. Time back in, Brown with the ball. Started by Dominguez. Bob Guest just squeezing time to Sturmlinger. Back to Brown with the time strike. Dominguez comes to get him. Justin starts to dribble. Angle left side, Erickson with a minute 40 to go. Across the top. Stops, raises, fires, nails it for two. Jason Erickson has nine. 83-67, Bob Guest. Not just 42 the first half, 41 so far in the second half. Dominguez, three ball deep left side. Carnier broke the glass on that one, rebound of the Bobcats. Erickson, front court, Brown holds it with a minute 20. Last man down, Sterlinger gets it. Gives it back to Brown. Out there the time stripe, Dominguez on him. Justin on the dribble, will reverse. Come across the top. Over to Rich. Rich picked up by Strong. And a foul called on the Terriers. So put this baby on ice. The Bobcats will go to the championship game tomorrow night. All we're awaiting is the final arithmetic to the foul line. Jason Erickson and some of the fans. Well, a lot of the fans now making towards the exit. Erickson's free throw is good. He has 10 points, five in each half. Four for four for the foul line. 84-67 Bobcats. 42 points each half for MSU. Clark waiting to come in for Erickson. 84-67, Montana State. Bob Guest looking at Radford tomorrow night as Erickson gets this free throw also. Erickson out, Clark in. 85-67, Bob Guest. It'll be Portland and St. Francis of New York tomorrow night at 6, followed by the title game, the Bob Guest of Montana State and the Highlanders of Radford. Dominguez goes into the paint, runs down the lane, collision and a blocking foul on the Bobcats. And that will be... I'll play in a minute. Dominguez to the foul line. John Sturmlinger and Dominguez back to the foul line. He's had a whole career at the foul line tonight. Free throw is good. Erickson in, Clark out for MSU. This will be the 18th free throw attempt for Dominguez coming up. A 12 out of 17. 12 out of 18, rebound to Rich. Long pass ahead to Justin Brown. Start to dribble, give to Sturmlinger. He'll look around for some help. Back out to Brown, we're under a minute. Jason Erickson, the dribble way out on top, 45 seconds. Sturmlinger, 42 seconds. Takes the dribble, loses it, picks it up, has a knock loose, and a foul will be called on Howard, and Sturmlinger will go to the foul line. Stephen Howard gets his third foul, and Kyle Sturmlinger to the free throw line for the Bobcats. Kyle, seven points, three out of four from the foul line. 38.9 seconds to go. Bobcats will go to seven and five on the year. St. Francis will go to two and six. 
More importantly, title game again for the Bobcats playing Radford for the first time ever. Radford out of Radford, Virginia. As Terminator makes the free throw, he has eight. And going out will be Stephen Howard, and coming back will be Jason Morgan. Howard lit him up the second half. He might as well have been taking a nap in the first half. Didn't do anything. 0 for 2 from the field in the first half. Sternlinger misses the free throw. Loose on the floor. And the Terriers will track it down. Into the front court. Dominguez down. Into the lane. Fires it up. Not good. Rebound underneath. Who has it? The Terriers have it. Morgan. Right on the right side. Up on top. Reyes. The drive. Stop. Strong left side jumper. Not good. Rebound. Sternlinger for the Bobcats with 18 seconds. To Erickson. And right now, we've got 86 to 68. Read it frontward or backwards, it's the same score. Rich, eight seconds, seven, five, and on the dribble, three, and it is history. Final divide in Bozeman on the mountain sheet in Loma Pile, leading and building product scoreboard. Montana State 86, the Terriers of St. Francis of New York 68. Back in three minutes with the postgame show. About